Hello, beautiful Aries. Welcome to your love reading. You guys, this is for February 15th through February 28th, 2019. I hope everybody is doing well. Well, I just screwed up my table. And Aries, I don't like doing that. I'm very, very anal retentive when it comes to that. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, let me move you guys over a little bit. All right. We will adjust as need be. Okay, let's do this again. So, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aries, collective love energy. Let's see what's happening with your love life. February 15th through the 28th, 2019. I pre-shuffled, but well, as you know, I like to get the energy moving. If you guys like the video, please show me by like, sharing, subscribing, leave your comments, share, do all that good shit. If you need a personal reading, click the link, the box below, and you can reach out for a more private reading as this is general. Phone reading special is still going through February. Book it in February. Use it whenever you like. I'm on instant go to water and fire tarot. All right, all that's below. Let's get going. All right, so sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aries. You guys kicked ass last reading. Thank you for all the love that you show and support and all of that. You guys are always right up there, you and Scorpio. So thank you guys very, very much. All right, as a reminder, you know, these energies can be interchangeable, Aries. So if it isn't you, it could be the other person. But let's get going and stop yapping, Mom. All right, let's take a look. Coming into the present moment, Aries, we have the King of Cups. Speaking of Scorpio. What's influencing that King of Cups or the challenge is the Nine of Cups, Aries. What's on your mind, Aries? The Ace of Wands. Va, 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 boom, Aries. Somebody wants the boom, boom. I'm just saying. All right. Recent past, Aries, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Situation or why everything's happening is the Three of Pentacles. Coming in, what you're going to experience is the Three of Wands, Aries. How do you guys see yourself right now? Well, you see yourself as the damn Two of Cups, Aries. Need I say more? All right. Here, let me move this back for y'all. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can lower this just a tad for you guys and not screw it up in the midst of doing that. Well... I just wasn't successful, but I'll hold up the cards. Okay, so the person coming towards you, the energy coming towards you is the moon. Okay, sign of Pisces. Maybe. Doesn't have to be. All right, in your emotions right now, Aries, we have the Queen of Wands. Well, there you are, Aries, feeling the v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-v-
okay, could be. But this is like, again, we've got the ace on your mind, okay? And now we have the three of pentacles. So it's like newness, freshness. This is building towards the Ten of Pentacles, like going towards a stable, grounded, long-term commitment. But the Three of Pentacles is almost like getting to know somebody. It's also a social card. It's like wanting to work and collaborate with somebody here. Could be a King of Cups type energy. But again, this can be dating. It can be like throwing your ideas for the future out and working together, wanting to build something. You see yourself right now as the Two of Cups, wanting to partner up with somebody. Maybe you feel like somebody's a soulmate. The Two of Cups energy is just a very strong connection. I feel like you guys are opening up to partnering up with somebody or you feel a very strong connection. So coming in, what you're going to experience is the Three of Wands. So it could be travel. You could be um, networking. You could be expanding also too. Like sometimes for me, the Three of Wands is like communicating with somebody online or somebody that's at a distance. It's like waiting for your ships to come in. It's like the two of wands were indecisive about what action to take, but the three of wands, a decision has been made. And so now we're manifesting. So coming in, you're going to experience some type of like, you're ready to go, basically. You're ready for your ships to come in, okay? Because you guys are collaborating with somebody. Now, the person heading towards you is the moon, okay? It could be a Pisces. We have a lot of water energy here, but the moon is, somebody's like really, it doesn't always have to be, oh, secrets and deception. I mean, we'll clarify and see, but the moon can also be the person is experiencing like they're really in their feels or their emotions. Maybe some things are hidden. Maybe you're not supposed to know everything yet, Aries, okay, with that moon energy. I feel like especially if you're dealing with water, Pisces or any water, I mean, they're highly intuitive. They could really be honing in on their intuition here, okay? But some there's some hidden factors here about this connection. Now, in your emotions, Queen of Wands, you guys, this is you, Aries. You guys are feeling the vavoom. You're feeling confident, like you're getting your mojo back. This is taking action. If you're male, could be another fire sign female. If not, it doesn't matter. It's just the energy of like feeling sexy and confident, wanting to move forward, wanting to take action, make things happen, and you're getting that mojo back. Most likely outcome, we have the Eight of Cups. So more water energy. Could be walking away from somebody doesn't have to be this connection, but the Eight of Cups is also, like, the cups have not been fulfilling in the past on an emotional level. So the outcome has you walking towards something to find the two additional to get to the ten, right? Because you see yourself right now as the Two of Cups, right? Wanting that, like, strong soulmate connection. Maybe you found it, and maybe you're walking towards it and leaving other things behind. All right, so let's take a look. Let's take a big, fat look for Aries. All right, Aries, let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 15th through the 28th, 2019. What does Aries need to know about their love life? This is collective love energy for Aries. What does Aries need to know? February 15th through the 28th. These were shuffled really well, but I'm going to just do a couple more. I know how much you guys love shuffling, right? Some like it, some don't, but let's take a look. Aries. Love energy. What do they need to know about their love life, please? February 15th through the 28th. Let's do one more shuffle and then we'll get to it, Aries. Aries love messages, please. What's coming in for Aries? 15th through the 28th of February. All righty then. Let's cut her and do her and see what's going on. Let's start with this overall energy. So we have the overall energy of this Two of Swords. Let's see why. Kind of maybe just a little bit indecisive, you know, about a new connection or something like that. What's this Two of Swords, the overall energy for Aries? Why is the Two of Swords here for Aries? And we have the star, Major Arcana for Aquarius, okay? So I feel like right now you guys are trying to make a decision about how to get to that wish fulfillment, Right, you might be a little foggy still, not really sure. Some of you might have cut out an Aquarius too, I'm just saying. Um, but this is keeping the hope or faith alive right now, but you're still indecisive about how to get to that manifestation of the star, right? Could be a little bit blocked mentally, okay? Now, the recent past, we have this Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in the past for Aries? 
<clears throat> clarify the queen of pentacles some of you could have earth in your chart too just saying the lovers Ooh, la 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 okay sign of gemini okay a choice or a decision was made in the past maybe just to like put love on the hold and hold in the recent past and just concentrate on your business your finances like becoming grounded and stable again right with that um queen of pentacles energy and with the lovers you made a decision you made a head over heart decision to maybe pause on love for a little while and concentrate on finances or stability, your home, your family, that kind of thing. Very, very grounded, okay? Became more stabilized and grounded. Now, coming in right now, we have this King of Cups. Who's this King of Cups for Aries? Who's this King of Cups? Clarify the King of Cups. Who is he? What does he want? And we have death. Hi, Scorpio energy. I called it earlier. I thought there might be some Scorpio energy. All right, coming in right now. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, okay? But the Scorpio is in the upright. So if they're offering you love or you're offering them love, again, it doesn't have to be Scorpio, you guys. But, I mean, there is two cards of Scorpio there. Somebody's just mature with their emotions and they're grounded and they want to give it to you, Aries, or you want to give it to them. All right. Also, too, obviously with death, I don't see this as an ending with this person. I think that this is more like a transformation. You guys have gone through a transformation or they have. It's like letting the old die to open up new. Okay. And you guys made that decision in the past, too. Let me one more card on death, please, for Aries. Why is the death card here? And the world. Ooh, new beginnings. You might be at a distance from this person, too, Aries. But with that world card, again, I know a lot of readers will be like, well, that's an ending. I don't think so, because that King of Cups is in the upright. This is you guys, like, shedding the old and ready to start a new cycle with love and, and emotion, and I like it. All right, let's take a look. Why is the Nine of Cups? I mean, for some of you, maybe this is an ending here, but I, I'm just not feeling it intuitively. But let's see. Let's keep going. Nine of Cups is what's influencing all of this. Why is this Nine of Cups here for Aries, please? Show me now the nine of wands. So being a little bit worried and guarded, <coughs> right? The nine of wands is like that wounded warrior. And I kind of saw that in the past here too. Like you guys have had some heartache, some disappointment and love. That nine of wands is still waiting too. I feel like you guys are persevering. You're, you're waiting for this wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. And it has something to do with a very mature um, energy. Lots of big changes coming in for Aries with death and the world. It's actually kick-ass and beautiful. But somebody in the situation here is guarded, worried, fearful a little bit, protective, um, anxious. But on your mind is this Ace of Wands. You guys want a new beginning with passion. Why is this Ace of Wands on Aries' mind? Of course, that's your energy. And we have the Two of Wands. You guys might be at a distance. It might include travel, too okay with the ace of wands and the two of wands heavy heavy fire energy of course there you guys want a passionate new beginning look we go from the ace of wands to the two of wands so at a bit of a crossroads trying to make a decision but also the two of wands is a new path it's a new direction it can be indecision like trying to pick you know between two paths right at a crossroads with this new beginning but there's a lot of passion and a lot of action why is this two of wands on aries mind and we have the Six of Cups because you feel a strong connection. I don't feel like this is indecision, Aries. I just don't. I feel like on your mind you have you want to take action. You have a lot of passion towards somebody. You might be really attracted to this person. Again, it might include travel with the Two of Wands, but you're picking a new direction because you feel a very, very strong magnetic attraction, a lot of nurturance. That Six of Cups doesn't always have to be the past, okay? I feel like this is newer because we have the Ace and the Two of Wands. But this person brings like that sweet emotion to you. Could be a very kindred sphere, like a soulmate, right? That you they bring you fond memories is what's happening here, and you feel a very very strong connection with the six of cups and the two of cups. Now everything's happening because of the three of pentacles. Why is this three of pentacles in the foundation for Aries? Why is it here? And we have temperance. Nice. Beautiful. This isn't a foundation. So typically this has already happened, but this is the core. This is why everything's happening. You guys are balancing out a connection with somebody. I think for most of you, it's newer. 
okay? It may or may not be, but that's what I'm feeling here. We've got a lot of, we've got the ace, the two of wands, the three of wands. Like, it's a new connection for a lot of you. Those that are in a relationships, it's just a resurgence. It's fresh, it's new. But in the foundation, we have people wanting to work together, collaborating, like putting your ideas out there and be like, yeah, I want to build that too. Like, we're in agreement, you know, we agree. Threes are always like some type of an agreement in a partnership here. And with temperance, could be a Sagittarius, but with temperance also, this is like harmony. It's balancing out the emotions, water, fire. You know, it's being very, very patient too because we're at the beginning of something here. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. You see yourself as the two of cups right now, Aries. Why does Aries see themselves as this two of cups? Why is this two of cups here? And we have justice, more balance. I feel like a lot of you feel like you found the one. Justice can be like the one, right? I'm getting what I deserve. It's balanced. Justice is also a very strong soulmate energy sign of Libra. You see yourself right now as wanting to work with somebody, feeling a very, very strong connection, maybe even feeling like it's a soulmate with two of cups and justice. But you see yourself right now as like finally getting what you deserve, balancing the scales and, and enjoying it, like getting what you finally deserve, Aries. Now coming in, we have the Three of Wands. You're going to experience the Three of Wands. Why will Aries experience the Three of Wands coming into the near future? And the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Looky, looky. Another ace. We have the Ace of Wands on your mind. Passion, action, feeling attracted to someone. And the Ace of Pentacles is also a new beginning, which is what I saw here too, like a lot of newness and freshness. Okay, so ex what you're going to experience coming into the new future, exploration, waiting for your ships to come in with this new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles is value, it's potential. It's like the seed, right? It's the beginning. It's, it's, it's a seed. Like you still have to take care of it and nurture it. But if you plant it, it has a lot of potential for long-term stability and commitment, okay? You guys are waiting for that to come in. Ships are coming in. You guys are all about it. You're manifesting this, probably communicating a lot with that three of wands with somebody. Um, it's the beginning. Now, the energy coming towards you. So the person coming towards you is the moon, sign of Pisces. Why is the moon energy heading towards Aries? What's this moon all about? Why is the moon coming in for Aries? And we have the chariot. I said a lot of water, so cancer, right? But also you might be at a distance. I keep seeing distance and travel too. The chariot can be that you're at a distance from somebody. Could be cancer energy too. <coughs> we saw a lot of water. Doesn't have to be. But the moon, sometimes readers read that moon as cancer too. But um, I feel like the person's energy that's coming towards you that you're dealing with, um, while they may be at a distance, also too, like they're very, very in their emotions. But like they want to move forward. They may even want to travel to see you or for you to travel to see them. But they want victory and success. And they're really in their feels about it. I think that they're really honing in on their intuition when it comes to this connection, but they want victory and success. Um, why is the chariot coming towards Aries? Tell me more about the chariot energy and the sun, Major Arcana for Leo, okay? The sun energy is they have some type of illumination. More travel could be, at, they could be in a warm climate, doesn't have to be. But with the sun energy, the energy they're bringing towards you, Aries, is happiness and growth, positivity, healing, it's beautiful. Happiness, right? And they want victory and success here. It's beautiful. Love it. Now, in your emotions, Aries is the Queen of Wands. That's you, of course. Why is this Queen of Wands in Aries emotions? Feeling the va-va-voom. The Nine of Swords. Okay. You guys want to take action, right? You're feeling confident. You're feeling passionate. You're feeling pretty secure. Again, getting that mojo back. The Nine of Swords, though, in your emotions on top of that Queen of Wands, you might be in your head a little bit, losing some sleep at night, like those, like that anxiety or worry or fear about moving forward, right? About taking this direction. Um, could be still some residual energy from the past, right? With this nine of wands here too, that's feeling a little bit anxious or fearful. So I do feel like you guys are experiencing some anxiety here with that nine of swords about how to make things happen and move forward, but you are getting your confidence back. Now the most likely outcome, Aries, 
over the next six to eight weeks in love is the eight of cups why is this eight of cups in the outcome for aries show me now well hi ten of cups and that's kind of what I was seeing when I laid out the spread. Remember I said the Eight of Cups doesn't always have to be you're turning your back on someone. It could be you're turning your back on something. Why? Because you're headed towards the two additional cups. Look at that big fat moon. And then look, because of the Ten of Cups, you're getting your happiness back, Aries. So you're leaving something behind. And it's interesting because you see yourself as the Two of Cups right now. Going in search of the two additional cups, and then look, you find it. The Ten of Cups. Okay, I love it. Beautiful energy. Completion. A lot of completion in this reading for Aries. Shutting old doors. Big, big changes with death and the world in your love life. You guys have some good shit coming in. Give me one more card on the Ten of Cups for Aries. One more card. One more card on this Ten of Cups for Aries. And we have the Knight of Wands, okay? So travel, I, I'm, I'm repeating myself, sorry. Either you guys are traveling or you're at a distance from somebody, but it's hot, it's heavy, it's love, it's new, it's fresh, it's gorgeous, I love it. That Knight of Wands energy, I'm not really looking at, at that as a player, you know? I know some readers read it as a player. I think that it's just action, it's passion. It's also too, the knights are always leaving, right? They're coming, they're going, they're going in pursuit of something, okay? And it's quick and it's passionate. What's this Knight of Wands and the outcome for Aries, please? Also, that's you guys, right, Aries? Um, and the Ten of Swords, okay. So also too, how I'm seeing this is you guys are leaving, you're going in pursuit of the happiness with the Eight of Cups, leaving the shit behind to because you're going to get to the Ten of Cups and you're leaving that player energy behind too with that Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay, it's an end to that. A lot of, remember we were seeing a lot of like closed chapters and ending of old cycles. You guys have mature shit now and you're leaving the players behind and the fickle energy behind. It's the end of it. Ten of Swords, I'm done, right? And then we have, yeah, the Eight of Swords, done with feeling trapped, done with like people that aren't going to give you that King of Cups energy. You're in pursuit of this now. And I think for a lot of you guys, you have found it. And so we're closing the cycle on feeling trapped and tied to people that just haven't been giving you a long-term commitment or the love that you deserve, okay? Because you do have that Ten of Cups there and that's what you're going for. And the wheel's turning in your favor now because of it, because you're closing out the cycle. Some of you have already done this, but I'm just saying like now the wheel, I love this deck, it's so pretty. Now the wheel is moving in your favor. These changes of like people that you were dealing with in the past that weren't giving you what you deserved, it was meant to be because now destiny is playing out. The wheel's moving in your favor. It's good karma. Karmic lessons have been learned because you guys are able to close the door and end the cycle on that ten of swords and feeling trapped to that energy. Okay, so it's a, like a lot of like evolving energy. It's beautiful. A lot of you guys, if this hasn't happened to you yet, it's coming in. It's beautiful energy. Making, as a recap, making the decision to be more grounded, practical. You may have even been more focused on work. Okay, making that decision and coming in. We've got some mature love here. You're dealing with somebody or you will be. That's all about new beginnings. You guys are ending old cycles, opening new things up. Still in your head a little bit, a little bit cautious, right? Which makes sense about how to get to this wish fulfillment. You've got it on your mind, a passionate new beginning for you guys. Okay, taking that new path. I think that a lot of you guys are having nostalgia about the past, but I also feel like this connection is newer, it's fresh, it's giving you great memories, making you feel like a kid again. It's warm, it's nurturing. You guys are all about building with somebody, probably getting to know somebody here. And with temperance, you guys kind of are, are evening things out. You're on the same page. It's balance and it's patience. Coming in, exploration, ships coming in, manifesting, okay? towards a new potential, but you're going to have to nurture it and take care of it. You see it, Two of Cups, Justice, very, very strong connection, soulmate energy, balance. This person is bringing the moon. I think that they're more in their feels. I don't feel like this is secrets. I feel like this is more they're honing in on their intuition and in their feels moving forward. Could get a distance, bringing some happiness and clarity to you guys. You're getting your vavoom back, but be careful to stay out of your head, okay? Because you guys are still having some anxiety there. I see you guys leaving shit behind and heading towards happiness, that Ten of Cups, because you have closed the door on this player energy ten of swords done with it i'm done no longer in my head okay the wheel is now here turning in your favor aries beautiful reading i love it you guys take care love you hard love me hard back and we'll speak soon